Good evening, friends. Stephen Benoon here with Israeli News Live. Got a lot of things going on today. Before we get started here with the California uh, power officials and what they're pleading there for the people about uh, protecting their grid, uh, I want to share with you some other things that are happening, uh, specifically uh, the situation over in Europe. Just a little quick update there that's going on uh, before I actually get into that Twitter one there. The Russia has cut off the Nord Stream pipeline there that feeds into Germany. And, of course, as a result, the tensions are building over there. Uh, the Germans have even moved uh, troops into uh, Lithuania. However, a small number of troops there. I think that the German government, trying to appease NATO, uh, the United States specifically, moved in these troops there into Lithuania, but it's still a very small number that they've moved in. So the troops off the uh, ferry in the port city of Klaipeda, they were to make up the command unit of a new brigade, a group usually made up of about 4,000 soldiers. Uh, our message to our allies here on the eastern flank is that we are committed to ensuring security and the brigade's commander, Christian Anoarat. The command unit uh, would remain permanently in the Baltic nation while the combat units would join them for exercises, he added. Uh, but at any point there, uh, they, they're saying 4,000, but he said Germany, which heads up NATO's battle group in Lithuania, already had around 1,500 German soldiers in Lithuania, former soviet rule Baltic states of Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania, which are all now EU and NATO members, are worried they could be next if Russia defeats Ukraine. Since the start of the conflict, uh, uh, they have asked for more NATO troops and the creation of brigades to replace the current units there. So at any rate, there that's what's going on there. So Germany has moved in more troops there. I was actually thinking it was a smaller number, but it appears to be that uh, they maybe are going to try to push for that 4,000 uh, troops inside of Lithuania there to kind of show the Russia that they mean business. Um, there are also several other things going on. Uh, this article right here, my wife sent to me here, Europe on the brink, 70,000 checks protested flood Prague over energy crisis. Uh, and what that was about here, that was, uh, and let me just see if I can find the, uh, here's the video here of it right here. That was happening downtown in Prague in the square there. And they were demanding that the government resign. And, uh, and what they're concerned about is that Russia is cutting off their, their pipeline uh, to, uh, which is this right here, the Nord Stream 2 pipeline, and that that will affect greatly what's going to happen in Europe with Russia cutting off that pipeline. Now, if you recall, I shared with you from the intel that I had gotten myself uh, out of uh, Washington there, is that the Russian, or excuse me, President Vladimir Putin was using this as a strategic maneuver that rather than try to escalate the war or expand the war, what he wanted to do was to put pressure on NATO and on their governments by cutting off the gas pipeline. So as winter approaches there, the people would begin to put the pressure on their own governments to change their positions. Well, it is having some success, as we see there in the Czech Republic. Uh, and uh, let me just find that again there. And then also in France, Sarah Abdullah on Twitter was posting this one here. People all over Europe are starting to resist the NATO proxy war. Let's get out of NATO, shout tens of thousands of French people in the streets of Paris yesterday. Uh, so uh, Sarah Abdullah po posted that. And just goes to show that Putin's plan may actually end up working. Uh, so it's kind of interesting to see how that's going to go there. This was another interesting thing I got here. French TV correspondent talks about a boy uh, from Ukraine who salutes every time a military truck passes by, except she forgot to mention the two girls across the street. Now, if you'll notice, those two girls across the street not only are saluting, but also are given a Nazi salute as well and nobody seemed to pay attention to that the young boy though doesn't do the nazi salute like the other girls do there but that just goes to show that the azov battalion is a neo-nazi group uh in ukraine there so french tv kind of missed that one i thought that was kind of interesting and uh but uh let's see one other thing here i wanted to mention to you california power officials put out a plea 
shut it down at 4 p.m. to protect the grid. If you recall, that was another thing I said to you that would be that could be happening here is that there is expectations that the power grid could end up going down sometime this year in the fall. And that uh, has a lot of people concerned. And now we're seeing the Los Angeles Times speaking of that, facing a dire forecast of record heat continuing through the midweek and state power officials asked the public to observe a flex alert that was issued Saturday and extended into Sunday, the fifth consecutive day. The alternative uh, could be rolling blackouts. Uh, the president of the chief executive of the California Independent System Operator, which manages the power grid. So it's starting to happen, and I can only imagine things getting worse there. Also, if you're, uh, I don't know if we mentioned this to you, is actually this came out a couple of days ago, uh, that the uh, down in Jackson, Mississippi, they are without water. Let me just pull that, see if I can pull that up. Um, let's see, Mississippi uh, is without water, and it's not because of a lack of water falling in Mississippi. But uh, there is that water crisis because of too much water, they're claiming. And that was causing the water shortage because they said the water got contaminated. Well, I kind of question that, uh, if that's really the case. But nonetheless, bottled water, now people are trying to get a hold of bottled water, things like that. There again, we've shared that over on our Patreon channel. Uh, we've shared it here with you as well on Israeli News Live. Stock up on water. We've been saying that for a while, knowing that there's going to become a water shortage. Uh, and, and for different reasons, not just because a drought could be man-made, could be for real, but the issue was we knew about that. We've shared that with you. The power grid goes down, then the you got to remember, if you're on city water, they can't pump the water out of the ground. Even if you've got well water and you have your water on your own well, if you don't have electricity or a way to pump the water out of the ground, again, you're going to be without water. So please keep that in mind when you're thinking about things to stock up on. Stock up on water. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Thank you for listening and have a blessed day.